What is up, MMA fans? This is StudioLeon34Shirt.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk again with UFC lightweight fighter, Mr. Terence McKinney. Hello, sir. How are you today? And welcome back. <laughs> Yes, sir. It's good to be back, man, with Short Dog. You guys keeping the fans updated, letting them know what's next. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Of course, it's always a pleasure talking with you. Um, how have, have you been up recently? What have you been up to recently? Um, just pushing myself to a limit. Um, we're definitely going to see a new Terrence out there, and I'm ready to put everything on the line to get this victory. Now that you said it, you told me that, you know, fans are going to see a new and improved version of yourself. Uh, are you, I mean, are you also referring to your latest, latest fight, to your performance in your latest UFC fight? Yeah. Uh, that night, things didn't go according to your plans. You lost uh, to Drew Dober in March. May I ask you what went wrong? Um, just getting overexcited and uh, only being bloodthirsty, looking for a knockout. Uh, there was a couple of times I watched back where he shot in directly with his neck and I could have snatched it up. Just just making sure um, I'm not just in love with the, the knockout aspect of the game, but the submission as well, because this is mixed martial arts, not a kickboxing match. Just making sure I'm mixing it up and looking for finishes on both sides. Do you regret taking that fight on short notice? Uh, no, because um, it, it lit a far, fire in me and it let me know what I need to work on and the necessary adjustments I need to make, like picking my shots when someone hurt, uh, framing and not letting them hold on to me to recover. Obviously, it wasn't your first defeat, but is record something that concerns you in general? Uh, no, I don't care. As long as I'm out here having fun. Uh, but just know every time I'm going to have way more wins than losses because I feel like I'm a top-notch guy and, and that's going to be shown. Yeah, for sure. And right now, people still remember that you're the man who scored the quickest knockout for a debuting fighter in the UFC Um, but I mean, did you also feel the fact that, you know, perhaps, you know, the more you move forward, the more the level of your opponents is going to, you know, to grow. Did you feel that, you know, difference between the fighters you faced before and, uh, Drew Dober? Um, yeah, um, he showed me that he's resilient, um, and showed that he knows how to endure and he knows how to push through and, keep his composure even through the the downs of the fight uh he he stayed there and but i, I honestly don't think i don't think people could take it like judo but i think he's definitely one of a kind and yeah it just shows me that i just had to make sure my cardio was straight and and i think we finished him by the second period if the cardio was there And um, are you going to, you know, to push for a rematch with him or uh, you have already moved, uh, you know, from that matchup? We, we move on. We are the dance. No need to run it back. Um, I just need to make sure once I fight a, a high level guy to get ranked or push myself into the ranking aspect, just making sure uh, I put the work in because I was, I was falling in love with my gift too much and taking it oh. for granted and, I could have been working a lot harder. Uh, so I know what it takes to be at that top echelon of the game. And, and I've been doing it. Um, we're really pushing the cardio every day. Like I said, I came to tears at cup practice because I, I just never want to lose again. And this, this, this sport means so much to me. And, and I refuse to take another step backwards because I want this belt as bad as I want to breathe. So are you telling me that perhaps you didn't take you know, your preparation for the Drew Dober fight or the fights before that, that seriously? Yeah, I could, I wasn't working as hard as I am now. That's for sure. It's just because I, I take, I know I'm a talented, powerful guy and I know that at any time I could just knock someone out and I was getting too prideful. So I, I'm glad I lost and I'm glad I got humbled so, so that I can make the right adjustments and, 
and I can push myself to the next level. Yeah, yours is clearly a gift. You know, you are gifted with the power punching and the KO power. But at the same time, you know, perhaps sometimes you you have to work on that gift. It's, you know, having it is not just enough, right? Exactly, you know, because like they say, uh, when talent's not working, hard work beats talent. That's true. That's true. Right now, you're scheduled to face Eric Gonzalez on uh, August the 6th. How is your preparation for this fight going? Good, man. Um, we're ready for a three-round war if we have to this time. And just uh, just everything I did this camp, I know it's all going to be worth it August 6th because I just know I'm in a way better headspace, you know? Like, I'm humble and... And I know someone wanted to take my spot and and I want to I just want to prove everyone wrong. And that's that's what's keeping me motivated even more because they think I don't got cardio. But I'm going to show them something. I'm going to show them something and, and they're going to know I'm going to be one to be feared in this division. May I ask you to elaborate a little bit more on the adjustments you made, especially, you know, in uh, regarding your care, your cardio training? Yeah, um, I got a strength and conditioning coach now, uh, Dylan Emery, and and he's holding me accountable. Uh, he even pulls up to my gym so that there's no excuses for why I can't come. So I uh, appreciate him for that, and I'm just excited. As you guys see, he used him too, man, and his cardio was through the roof. Uh, and mine's going to be the next to show that, and I'm going to push the pace the whole time until he breaks. <laughs> I heard that you have been training with the Sayud Yakub uh, Kakramov at Warriors Camp. Is that right? Yes, he's a beast, and like I said, uh, just 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 our energy together. Uh, I just know it's going to take us to the next level, and I I can definitely see us both end up grabbing a UFC belt by the time we're done with this. And and we're we're just feeding off each other and holding each other accountable. And like I said, I'm I'm excited to have him on our team who is going to be in your corner for this fight uh my strength and conditioning coach uh Dylan Emery, and then cj phillips and then pablo alfonso um may i ask you I, you told me that you are ready for a three-round war and that, that's right and but what do you expect from your opponent in general um i i get i expect him to come forward uh, maybe take a couple shots on me to try to get me tired because I, I know he didn't like when he got hit by Jim Miller. So I know he's definitely not going to like when I hit him. So I see him trying to implement wrestling at the beginning and then try to TKO me. And like I said, uh, we're going to be ready for it all. Do you see yourself finishing your opponent inside the distance this time? Yeah, we're definitely going to finish him inside the distance. But at the same time, I want to show them that I, I can go two to three rounds, you know, but I know for a fact we're, we're going to put this guy to sleep. And what about your walkout song? Your last time you walk out to Lose Yourself by Eminem. I don't know if you know that, but uh, internet nerds like to, to talk about this, but that song has one of the lowest winning percentage uh, in combat sports in general and in MMA. Uh, I usually, you know, people who walk out to Lose Yourself even the name itself implies that, you know, <laughs> losing is not just, <laughs> is part of the equation. Do you regret picking that that World Cup song? I should have picked that song. The Eminem curse lives on. It's, it's not a game. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't go out to Eminem if you're fighting you guys. Don't yeah. go out to Eminem. Someone someone should have told me. <laughs> I'm one of the biggest Eminem fans, but it is what it is. Um, have you already picked your welcome song for your upcoming fight? Yeah, I have. May I ask you, you know, to tease it a little bit, to tease us something? Uh, I can't, I can't, I can't. I like all my welcome songs, be surprised, but it's definitely a legend. Uh, one of the artists that died. So uh, I think, I think the fans really going to like this one. One of my favorite oh. songs. Okay, we'll have to wait to listen. it. The card on which you're fighting is headlined by the clash between uh, Tiago Santos and uh, Jamal Hill. Who is your pick for that fight? I got Jamal Hill. 
that's my big brother. And we go way back. We fought on a contender series together. And we're both rising stars right now. And I'm excited. I hope we both get the bonus this card. I can I see us both getting a knockout and hopefully an extra 50 G's to come with it. Terrence, I finished my questions. Do you have any last messages? Yeah, shout out to God. Shout out to Warrior Camp. Shout out to my fans and everyone that's supporting me through the ups and downs. And shout out to the haters too, man, because you guys light a fire on me in them comments. Thank you. I love you guys. We love you too. And thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with your upcoming fight. And hopefully I will hear again from you in the future, man. Awesome, man. And stay blessed. Thank you for your time. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.